My name is Lori Lucas and I am the program coordinator for bilingual bicultural education and I'll be walking you through this PowerPoint. To start, I'd like to discuss some career options for teachers that are interested in the bilingual bicultural and or ESL endorsement. One is that you remain as a classroom teacher and that the courses that you take and the information that you receive assist you with building a skill set in which to assist BBE and or ESL learners in your classroom. Another career option is that you're a resource teacher for either the school in which you work with or the district in which you work with. This is the same for being a consultant throughout the district and or within your school setting. And then also there's the opportunity to become a supervisor or director of ESL or BBE within your school district because you'll have the skill set in order to help other teachers um, as they navigate how to work with BBE and ESL teachers. So there are three ways in which at the graduate level to receive the BBE or ESL certificate. The first is the graduate bridge certificate program. The second is our masters of education in teaching and learning, either bilingual bicultural education or ESL. And then we also offer what would be considered a master's plus 30 in the district, which is an education specialist certificate in bilingual bicultural education. However, you can receive the ESL endorsement through this program. However, your degree program will say bilingual bicultural education. And again, the program is just a design to, it's designed to assist teachers in classroom instruction um, who are, work with BBE and ESL students on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and so it also helps the practicing teachers um, to enhance their skill set because not only can you apply the course material to BBE and ESL, you can also apply it to urban education, um, which um, most of the material will focus on urban education. The BBE or ASL endorsement is attached to your existing elementary or secondary certificate. Um, we do now offer the option of a K-12 endorsement. And this K-12 endorsement is actually meant for those teachers that are seeking to work in a different grade band than what they're certified for. So if you're an elementary school teacher and you want to work maybe at the high school as an ESL resource teacher, you would want to do the K-12 endorsement for that. And then vice versa. So if you're at the secondary level and you want to work at the elementary level, that would be why you would receive the K-12 endorsement. As it relates to the Graduate Bridge Certificate Program, the admissions requirements are that you have a 2.75 undergraduate GPA for regular admission. However, we do allow 2.50 undergraduate GPA for qualified admission. We ask that you submit an undergraduate transcript and a copy of your teaching certificate so that we can have that on file. For the Graduate Bridge Certificate Program in either Bilingual Bicultural Education or ESL, it, is, it ranges from 21 to 24 credit hours. And for K-12, it is 24 credit hours plus an additional two credit hours as we'll discuss the clinical component um, once you're admitted into the program. But for traditional elementary, secondary, it being attached to your certificate, it's a 21 credit hour program. We offer courses in the traditional setting, so there will be one class offered each semester on campus. Unfortunately, with COVID, we're not doing that for the upcoming fall 2020 semester. Um, but we also offer hybrid courses and online courses. And once you've completed the program and you've taken the respective exam, so if you're bilingual by cultural education, you'll take the BBE exam. If you're ESL, you'll take the ESL exam. You can apply for the BBE or ESL endorsement, and this can be added to your existing teaching certificate. So here's the plan of work for the Graduate Bridge Certificate Program for BBE. So it is 21 to 24 credit hours. You'll notice that we have an introduction to bilingual bicultural education. We have an applied linguistics. We have methods one, we have methods two. We have an integration of language and content and language teaching, which is our SIOP model, which some of you may be familiar with um, within your districts. We have assessment and language teaching. 
we have cultural as the basis for language teaching and then second language literacy development K-12. And what you'll notice is, is the courses that are here are courses that are designed to enhance your already skill set that you have built. Um, it just goes into more detail on how to look at culture and how to learn like culture as a crossroad in the classroom. So these courses are again designed to assist you as you're working with BBE students. When we get to the graduate bridge certificate in ESL, you will notice that there's a difference in the courses and it's only by one course and that is uh, LED 6510 is added in as second language acquisition and the teaching of grammar. So that's the only difference between BBE and ESL is that there is a course that is different between the two. And again, if you're adding a K-12 endorsement, the asterisks on the PowerPoints are the courses that you would take for that K-12 option. If you elect not to do the K-12 option and add it to your existing certificate, it'll just be the courses that are listed on the plan of work. For BBE ESL Masters of Education in Teaching and Learning, the admission requirements are the same. 2.75 undergraduate GPA for regular admission, 2.50 undergraduate GPA for qualified admission, transcripts, and this time you have to add a personal statement to include your career and academic goals. If you're already in a school district and you're trying to enhance your skill set, that's really all you would want to put onto the the personal statement is that you're doing this in order to enhance your skill set as a teacher. This program is 33 to 36 credit hours. Again, it's 33 credit hours for the traditional program and 36 credit hours to 38 credit hours for the um, K-12 endorsement. The courses again are traditional, hybrid, and online. And once you've completed the seven to eight courses for the endorsement, you may apply for the BBE or ESL endorsement upon completion of your uh, exam. So this means you do not have to finish up the Master's of Education before you can apply for your BBE or ESL endorsement. You just need to complete the coursework and take the exam that is related to the program in order to apply for the endorsement. You will notice the Master's of Education Plan of Work for BBE is pretty much the same as the Graduate Birth Certificate. Just at the bottom, we add four courses, and that's the General Professional and Research courses. So your research courses are TED 7000, which is the Intro to Master Seminar, and ED 7999, which is the actual writing of your master's thesis. We then have two courses that are general professional courses, and that's TED 7030, which is Foundations of Teaching and Learning, and TED 7060, Inclusive Education, Curriculum, and Pedagogy. When we get to ESL, you'll notice the same courses are listed. It's those same four courses. Um, so there is no real shift. Again, it's just a shift from LED 6510 being offered in BBE and ESL versus BBE 6560, which is a BBE course. As it relates to educational specialist and bilingual education, please note again that you can receive your ESL certificate. However, your degree will say educational specialist in bilingual education. So that's why you'll see the two plans for BBE and ESL and 30 hour credit hour programs. Again, with this, the MDE endorsement is available upon completion of those seven to eight courses, as well as successful completion of the BBE and or ESL certificate uh, exam. The program is 30 to 33 credit hours. Again, 30 credit hours for those students who are placing it on their existing teaching certificate and 33 to 35 credit hours will be for those who are um, adding the K-12 endorsement. Courses are the same. You will work with MED students. You'll be in classes with the graduate birth certificate. So they're all traditional, hybrid, and online. And again, you may apply for the endorsement after completion of the coursework, as well as successful completion of the respective exam. So the admission requirements 
for both programs are that you have a 3.40 graduate GPA for regular admission and 2.75 undergraduate GPA. You will have to provide transcripts, again, a personal statement to include uh, your career and academic goals, and as well as have a master's degree already from another university, if not Wayne State University. As you review the plan of work for the educational specialist, you will notice that the same courses that are listed for the graduate bridge certificate program and master's program are listed here. The only difference with this is upon completion of those courses, you will be allowed to take three elective courses at the 6,000 plus level. So that's nine additional credit hours that are required for the program. And once you're in with your academic advisor, they will go through which courses um, will work best for you um, for these elective courses. The same for the ESL plan of work, the same courses for the endorsement, and we also allow you to choose three elective courses at the 6,000 plus level for a total of nine credit hours that's required for the program. There is another option, and this is a non-degree BBE ESL admissions requirement. And so for this, it just is that you would be a post-bachelor student. Um, and in order to do the non-degree, you would go through almost the same process. You would submit transcripts. You would have to have a bachelor's degree. Um, there is no application fee. Um, however, there also is no financial aid available for this route. Um, so if your district is going to pay for it, this may be the route to go. But just know that in addition to this, um, once you take these courses, you cannot use them for any graduate uh, purposes at all. And the courses, again, are listed as the same. So non-degree BBE is the same and the non-degree ESL is the same. I will tell you though, for the Graduate Bridge Certificate Program, if you're interested in that program, the courses are only allowed to be transferred over to a master's program. So if you're, if you're thinking about doing a master's plus 30, you would have to admit to the Educational Specialist Program. However, if you're considering going into the master's program, you could do the Graduate Bridge Certificate, which is just the seven courses. And within six years, you would have to come back if you wanted the master's and apply for the master's program and take the four additional courses. To apply to the BBESL program, you can apply at gradapply.wayne.edu. And again, the admissions requirements are listed. Masters of Education, please have an undergraduate transcript available, GPA of 2.75 and a personal statement educational specialist certificate, that you have an undergraduate transcript available, a graduate transcript, GPA of 2.75, and a personal statement. Application deadlines, we'd like for you to apply two weeks before the start of class, and that is for our bridge certificate, MED, and Ed Specialist. If you're considering the post-bachelor program, you would want to allocate four to six weeks as that process goes through undergraduate admissions, um, so it takes a little bit longer to get through. And I will let Mary discuss the tuition and fee information, scholarship information, and financial aid. Mary? If you need information about tuition and fees, go to the website on your screen where you can get information about tuition and fee costs. You can also use the tuition calculator on that web page to estimate your tuition cost. Information such as payment methods, residency requirements, course material fees, and other financial information is available on this website. There are many scholarships available for Wayne State students. The WSU Scholarships website contains information about university scholarships. If you click on the Departmental Scholarships link on that page, you can explore the scholarships available specifically for the College of Education students. Applications for College of Education scholarships are only open for a limited time. Check the website for more information. The College of Education is unable to provide information about your financial aid. For financial aid information, you can email at studentservice at wayne.edu or call 313-577-2100.
More information is available on the financial aid website. Forms to apply for financial aid are also available on the website. Make note that Wayne State University's FAFSA Federal School Code is 002329. Remember, you can call financial aid at 313-577-2100 or email them at studentservice at wayne.edu. For information about the program, please contact Ms. Lori Lucas at ac1272 at wayne.edu. For information on how to apply for the program and application requirements, contact Dr. Mary Waker at m.waker at wayne.edu.